My name is Damien Sneed, and today I'm going to talk with you about a song that is a staple in gospel music. It is originated out of the Church of God in Christ, known as the acronym Kojic, C-O-G-I-C. Within the Kojic Church, there are many gospel artists that came out of the lineage of their music, such as the Hawkins, like Walter Hawkins, Edwin Hawkins, Andre Crouch, the Clark Sisters, Kim Burrell, many artists that many singers and musicians in different genres have heard of, have sung their music, have had the opportunity to work with. Many of the songs have even crossed over. This particular song that I mentioned as a staple, Yes Lord, actually is featured in a hymnal published by the Church of God in Christ called the Yes Lord Hymnal. This song was created by Bishop C.H. Mason, Charles Mason, and it was like a prayer chant. I'll start by playing the Yes Lord hymn out of the Yes Lord hymnal. There are many fermatas, places to hold. This is in a freestyle. It almost sounds like a corral. time I'll sing it. Yes, 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 Lord, yes, Lord. But to many of you, your ear will probably say this is quite simple, very basic. I'd like to show you an example of the piano taking a solo, and I'll explain some of the theoretical uh, movements that I'm doing this time around. So I take the melody in the right hand, and then the left hand, using the thumb, I move up chromatically from the tonic going up to the third scale degree. This is based on the four chord. I'll go up with a diminished seventh, going towards the fifth. the dominant. I'll go up chromatically to the sixth chord, the minor, in this key of E flat would be C minor. Back to the five. With that, I was just taking the scale of E flat, and I was playing the third and the tonic, which is actually the eighth scale degree in this case. And I was moving up scale-wise with sixths. There I used an inner voice. It's actually based on F minor, the two chord. Actually a F minor seven. To the five, two, five, one.
this time I'll use octaves with the tremolo in the left hand.